second semifinal in the men's division as fifth seed Pittsburgh looks for their third title in five years. The fourth seed Minnesota Grey Duck in the first semifinal in program history. Thorne not getting credit for the score, but he's got it on the goal line. Good pivot. Earls elevates and gets Pittsburgh started. Wyatt Meckler and into the end zone. Yacht, a midseason hype video. A second midseason hype. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but that's what it felt like. And there's Earls with his second score. Great Duck leadership, certainly happy he decided to stay in Minnesota. Native of Paris, France, grad student in the Twin Cities. Could this be the game's first break? And it falls into the grasp of Michael Ng. Well, after a break on the first point, it was all UCF the rest of the way in a Pittsburgh with a pretty impressive goal line stand here. Gray Duck just backing up and losing yards until that inside shot. And that leads to the score. Ben Yacht. I didn't think he'd be able to make the catch. I didn't think he'd be able to stay in bounds. He did both. And that was a huge turnaround in that game as Yacht shows off his ability from Dylan after the call was made. Was that a lefty backhand? Anderson didn't drop it. Field space certainly a struggle for Minnesota in the winter. Pittsburgh doesn't have a tropical season either in the winter months. That's three in a row for the Duck. Losing to Minnesota and Pittsburgh yesterday after, oh, and another poach D. Meckler looks off, Yacht finds Anderson. Meckler to the end zone. Very close to winning it, he was a finalist. Jonathan Nethercutt got more votes though. To the end zone, Earls to Pitts. Memorial Day weekend, and I think there was certainly a shift in mindset from Pittsburgh in 2016. Morgan Stern swings it to Tang. Oh, and Tang's throw was behind the intended target. He was looking for Ng, and Yacht got a piece of it, and Yacht taking off. Can he get there? He can! Bookends for Ben Yacht. And of course, Minnesota, a program that's still trying to get over the ghost of a few years ago, as Earls looks for Dylan, and that was really easy. 10 yards for Meckler and Gray Duck to go. I don't think Van Dusen knew who was gonna be there. Threads the needle. This is Jack Slevin to Dylan. For Thorne, no. Coaching the Team USA mixed team, who's got a practice weekend. This could take half. Yacht, was he in? Not yet. That'll work. What a performance from Gray Duck. And to the end zone, an open side cut. Knocking off Oregon team, I suppose. Florida, another repeat winner. Oregon won back in the early 90s. It was open a lot earlier in the stall count. That was a really ambitious throw as Earls uncorks a deep shot. To the end zone, Christian Pitts. Decent downfield defense, he has to chuck it. And Pittsburgh knocks it away. Shaw up the line, Yacht airs it out, counts, no! Morgan Stern gets it to Thorne and Pittsburgh back within two or not so fast. My ruling is that there's no foul, the disc was in there, we have a goal. Wow. Oh, 
and Morgenstern bidding to get the disc back. He's been due for one of those. He has. You and I both know great handler defense can lead to nothing oh, and for a... 20 points. And then on that 21st, it changes the game. Tyler DiGirolamo, Alex Thorne, and Chris Brennenborg, who's forgotten, but he was a top handler as well. This year's Callahan Award winner, Dylan, goes up for the sky. And through the contact into the end zone to tie this thing up. Nine minutes until soft cap, nine all on the scoreboard. Trent Dillon getting the better of Ben Yacht on that deep shot with the and one throw through the contact to Sam Van Dusen. Tied at nine in the second semifinal. Lefty backhand, it floats and hangs long enough. Meckler to Yacht. Once again, that offhand. Pittsburgh's turn to try and respond. Earls for Dillon. There it is. Dillon over Anderson. Yacht, a lot of space downfield, but he couldn't break free of Pitts. They launch it anyway. Yacht and Pitts, and Ben Yacht goes up. Throws the score. Isaac Ruff was there. 6-6 six, six to 6-4. Six, Earl's blady flick. Handle well. Looking for Thorne in the end zone. Thorne on the second effort. Could not haul it in. Soft cap will go on after this point. It'll either be 12-10 game to 14. Or 11 all game to 13. This would make it 12 10. What a shot. Soham Shah to Ben Yacht. Thorne, low throw. No! And he was there. Oh, tried to do the baseball slide and. Shah. Blady on the money. Another one. It's Jerley. Oh! Pittsburgh perhaps just saved the game in the end zone. Kyle Hartley. That was on Universe Point when Pittsburgh was on offense. And once again, Minnesota can't punch it in. There are a lot of supportive and vocal parents, but he's certainly up there. Slevin to Dillon. He's in. Van Dusen looking for anybody who can get free. Oh, that was cheeky, and it was a little too daring. And Dillon's going to call a strip. And the call has been rescinded. Van Dusen gets it off and gets it back. To the end zone, got it. Great dump defense from Graves and Earls. Taking the shot, that'll work. Meckler to Anderson. It's must score time for Pittsburgh. They've been in this spot before. And we've seen that offensive set before. Earls to Dillon. He's in. Since the program began, it all has led to this. Meckler's got it again. And was he in? He was! Minnesota Gray Duck has done it.